Hey everyone, I'm Kara Suboy. Thanks for watching The Future Of, a show where we spotlight a major company and find out some of the things that could happen in the next year. Right now we're talking about Apple, and who better to discuss Apple with us than staff writer Josh Lowenson, who covers Apple. Thanks for joining us, Josh. My pleasure. Let's talk first about perhaps some new products that we may see in 2013. What do you think? Sure, I mean, as a consumer company, the first thing everybody thinks of is things like the iPhone and the iPad. Right. Uh, but of course, the big thing everybody wants to know about is what's next. Sure. Um, a lot of the rumors are really pointing to two things, um, some sort of streaming radio product to compete with Pandora mm. and a television set. Mm -hmm. We've heard rumors of TV sets for a long time, though. Do you think sure. we may actually see some hardware next year? You know, there's two really warring camps. Uh, one group really thinks there's going to be TV, okay. and the other thinks there's going to be kind of a more advanced cable box, something a little bit beyond what they're already doing. And I'm kind of in that second camp that thinks that something like a TV set is a little bit harder to sell right off than, mm. than it would be to do something that could really replace the cable box people have at home. And you can see how a streaming music service would fit very nicely with iTunes. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but and honestly, that's not really like a sexy or exciting product. Sure. Uh, it's really to compete more with upstarts like Pandora, RDIO, Spotify, these right. things that have really kind of taken the idea of purchasing music and making it more of a subscription feature. Now, when we do talk about existing products, you know, the iPhone, iPad, iPod, what kind of changes will we see next year? I mean, anything really monumental or just, you know, a eh, little tweak here and there? Uh, I think two, 2013 is going to be the year of the tweak, in part okay. because 2012 was so much of a, of a new product. Uh, the one thing that really yeah. did not get a big, big overhaul was the iPad. We did see the Mini, though. We did, uh, but that's almost a separate product. Mm -hmm. um, the big, big thing I expect in, in 2013 is a real kind of redesign of the iPad. Uh, we had both third and fourth generation models this year, but it was basically the iPad 2 with some new screen technology and some beefed up specs. Sure. Um, I think there are definitely improvements to be made in the form factor that they could push out. Very exciting. Now, in 2012, we saw a lot of leadership changes. Um, I imagine that's going to trickle over into the next year. What are your thoughts on, on management? Sure. I, they really did have a lot of the big moves last month in November. Uh, that really kind of put their executive team into three kind of power structures and three big groups, uh, including technologies and iOS software. Um, the big focus, I think, is really going to be tightening that down. Um, I don't think we're going to see a lot of changes in terms of movement. Uh, the one big thing to keep an eye on is who they hire to replace their outgoing retail chief. Mm -hmm. um, they haven't announced anybody yet. They're, they're on a search right now. Uh, I suspect we'll see something very early next year that kind of shows who they want to be leading their retail group. And speaking of leadership, um, we're now, what, maybe 15 months since the passing of Steve Jobs. So 2013 will be a full year without him. How is this company going to continue to move forward without his leadership, without his presence, and without his ideas in the pipeline? I guess, what do you see in that, in that camp or in that front? Sure. Uh, I think a lot of the focus has been on the product pipeline, things that uh, were in, in production and ready to go when Steve was still around. Um, I think what Tim Cook will continue to do, and what Apple even did uh, a little bit before Steve Jobs came on, was really take a look at products that needed some improvement. Uh, if you look at some of the big hits they've had, including the iPod, the iPad, and the iPhone, mm -hmm. it's really been taking something that someone else has done and making it better. Yeah. And I don't think that's going to change. All right. Well, a lot to look forward to. Definitely. Uh, Apple TV sounds exciting. Yes. Thank you so much, Josh Lowenson. I'm Kara Suboy. Thanks for watching The Future Of.